Raquel Welch rose to international stardom with her role in One Million Years B.C., but this was just the beginning. Over the following decades, the Hollywood star acted in dozens of movies, appeared in countless television shows, was named a MAC Cosmetics beauty icon, and cemented herself as one of the sexiest and most powerful women in Hollywood. While the actress may have passed away at the age of 82, fans can still relish a visual delight by exploring vintage photographs of Raquel Welch during her prime. Keep watching as we delve into these tempting photos of Raquel Welch leaving little to the imagination. Raquel Welch on the set of One Million Years B.C. This image is undeniably one of the most iconic pictures of Raquel Welch in existence, forever etched in the annals of cinematic history. Captured on the set of the 1966 fantasy adventure film One Million Years B.C., this photograph holds a special place in the hearts of fans worldwide. At that time, Raquel was already garnering attention in the entertainment industry, thanks to her striking beauty and undeniable charisma. However, it was her mesmerizing appearance in the film that would launch her into the stratosphere of superstardom. One Million Years B.C. not only showcased Raquel's undeniable talent, but also catapulted her into the spotlight captivating audiences with her mesmerizing presence. But it was not just her performance that left a lasting impression. It was the film's decidedly provocative poster that played a pivotal role in making Raquel a bona fide superstar. This very image served as the centerpiece of that poster, instantly capturing the imagination of fans and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. The poster became an enduring symbol of sensuality and allure, and Raquel Welch became an international sex symbol, an icon whose allure continues to fascinate audiences even today. Raquel Welch getting her hand. Kissed by Salvador Dali. While the iconic image of Raquel Welch on the poster of One Million Years B.C. is undoubtedly familiar to most, the next image we're about to delve into offers a uniquely captivating perspective. Here, we see Raquel Welch being presented with an abstract portrait by none other than the legendary artist Salvador Dali. What makes this moment even more intriguing is the stark contrast between the abstract portrait and Raquel's actual appearance. They bear little resemblance to each other. Nevertheless, it's the sentiment and artistic expression that count. In this remarkable photograph, both celebrities appear genuinely thrilled to be in each other's presence. Salvador Dali seizes the opportunity to show his admiration for Raquel Welch by leaning in to plant a respectful kiss on her hand. This charming exchange between the surrealist maestro and the Hollywood icon serves as a testament to the profound impact Raquel had on popular culture during the 1960s. Indeed, having one's portrait painted by a legendary abstract artist is a privilege reserved for very few. Equally rare is the opportunity to share a moment with a timeless beauty like Raquel Welch. This photograph, captured in 1965, a mere year before Raquel's iconic role in One Million Years B.C., is a testament to the enduring allure of this Hollywood legend. Raquel Welch on the set of The Magic Christian with Beatles member Ringo Starr. In the year 1969, the world was treated to a rather peculiar cinematic experience when Beatles drummer Ringo Starr made an unconventional appearance alongside the renowned comedic performer Peter Sellers in the cult film The Magic Christian. While the film is often remembered today for its rarity as one of Ringo's relatively infrequent forays into the world of cinema, there's another reason why it's worth revisiting this cinematic oddity, a captivating and exceptionally sexy appearance by Raquel Welch. In The Magic Christian, Raquel Welch assumes the role of the priestess of the whip, a character whose name itself suggests a dominatrix-like persona. To bring this character to life, Raquel donned a daring leather ensemble that left a lasting impression on audiences. The film, with its peculiar mix of eccentricities and satirical humor, featured an ensemble cast that included the comedic talents of Peter Sellers and the musical presence of Ringo Starr. 
Adding to the surreal mix, the movie also boasted appearances by two members of the iconic British comedy troupe Monty Python, namely John Cleese and Graham Chapman. Despite its unique and star-studded lineup, The Magic Christian did not achieve the level of success one might have expected. Regrettably, it remains a relatively obscure gem in the world of cinema, seldom seen by contemporary audiences. However, for those intrigued by the enigmatic allure of Raquel Welch and the curious convergence of talents in this unconventional film, it offers a glimpse into the creative experimentation of the late 1960s. Raquel Welch, besides bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger, at the 1977 Golden Globe Awards. In the same month that the iconic documentary Pumping Iron was released, another significant moment in Hollywood history unfolded. Raquel Welch found herself rubbing shoulders with the legendary bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger at the 1977 Golden Globe Awards. While the two appear together in this captivating picture, it's worth noting that Raquel and Arnold weren't particularly close despite their shared moment in the spotlight. At that prestigious event, Arnold Schwarzenegger achieved a remarkable milestone in his burgeoning career by winning the Golden Globe for Best Newcomer. This recognition was a testament to his remarkable performance in the 1976 comedic drama film Stay Hungry. It was this role, coupled with his subsequent appearance in the aforementioned Pumping Iron, that catapulted Arnold into the realm of stardom and solidified his status as a Hollywood sensation. The photograph captures a unique intersection of two iconic figures from the entertainment industry, both at pivotal points in their respective careers. While Raquel Welch had long been celebrated for her beauty and acting prowess, Arnold Schwarzenegger was on the cusp of becoming a global superstar. Raquel Welch, with Robin Williams on the set of the classic 1978 sitcom Mork and Mindy. While Mork and Mindy is primarily recognized today as the television series that catapulted the late Robin Williams into the realm of household names, there's a lesser-known nugget of trivia that might surprise even the most ardent fans of the show. Raquel Welch, the iconic Hollywood star, made a memorable appearance on Mork and Mindy during its second season. The series first graced television screens in September 1978, and by that time, Robin Williams had already established himself as a prominent figure in the entertainment world, thanks to the immense popularity of the show's first season. However, what truly set Robin Williams apart was his meteoric rise to stardom during the subsequent years, a trajectory that would ultimately elevate him to legendary status. Raquel Welch's guest appearance on the program occurred during the second season in an episode titled Mork vs. the Necrotons, Part 1, which made its debut in 1979. While Robin Williams was undeniably a significant presence on the show, few could have foreseen the astronomical heights of fame that he would reach in the years to come. This captivating intersection of talent between Robin Williams and Raquel Welch on Mork and Mindy serves as a testament to the diverse range of individuals who contributed to the show's unique charm and enduring appeal. Raquel Welch alongside co-star Frank Sinatra on the set of the 1968 noir, Lady in Cement. Raquel Welch's journey through the realms of music and film brought her into the orbit of yet another legendary musician-turned-actor, Frank Sinatra. Their paths converged on the set of Sinatra's 1968 film, Lady in Cement, where Raquel took on the pivotal role of the female lead. However, what makes this particular chapter of her career intriguing is Raquel Welch's candid admission about her own performance in the noir. In hindsight, Raquel expressed dissatisfaction with her portrayal in the film, attributing her own subpar performance to an unexpected distraction. Frank Sinatra himself. According to her account, she found herself utterly mesmerized by Sinatra's charismatic presence during filming. It seems that the magnetic allure of the iconic crooner proved so captivating 
that it momentarily eclipsed her focus on the role at hand. While Raquel's recollection paints a vivid picture of her infatuation with Frank Sinatra during the making of Lady in Cement, the details of their off-screen relationship remain shrouded in mystery. The question of whether their connection extended beyond the confines of the movie set remains unanswered. Raquel Welch, shaking hands with Queen Elizabeth II at the 1966 Royal Film Performance of Born Free. This captivating picture not only showcases the timeless beauty of Raquel Welch, but also brings together an array of iconic figures in a single frame. At the forefront of this intriguing snapshot is none other than Queen Elizabeth II, gracefully extending her hand to Raquel Welch. The setting for this memorable encounter was the 1966 Royal Film Performance, a prestigious annual fundraising event in England. The royal film performance traditionally features the premiere of a notable film and boasts the distinguished presence of the British royal family. In 1966, however, the star-studded guest list extended far beyond royalty. Raquel Welch found herself in the company of some of the era's most celebrated stars, making this event an unforgettable moment in her illustrious career. Sharing the frame with Raquel and Queen Elizabeth II, one can spot Woody Allen, Ursula Andress, and Warren Beatty, each a luminary in their own right. The convergence of these luminous personalities in a single photograph captures a glimpse of the glamour and star power that defined the royal film performance that year. The film being premiered at the 1966 Royal Film. The 1966 Royal Film Performance, where this iconic picture of Raquel Welch alongside Queen Elizabeth II was taken, was a star-studded affair that brought together an array of notable figures from the world of entertainment. Raquel Welch, undoubtedly the center of attention, graced the event with her irresistible charm and beauty. However, she was far from the only luminary in attendance. Among the guests were Bill Travers and Virginia McKenna, the real-life husband and wife who had captivated audiences with their roles in the acclaimed film Born Free. Their presence added a touch of enchantment to the evening. Another rising star who graced the event was Woody Allen, who had burst onto the entertainment scene just a year earlier with his debut film, What's New Pussycat? His wit and comedic genius were already making waves in the industry. Ursula Andress, the very first Bond girl who had left an indelible mark in the iconic 1962 film Dr. No, was an especially notable presence at the Royal Film Performance. Meanwhile, Warren Beatty, a well-established Hollywood star, was just a year away from his memorable performance in Bonnie and Clyde. Raquel Welch, attending the premiere of The Muppets. Go Hollywood, in April of 1979. Raquel Welch's amiable rapport with the Muppets was a delightful aspect of her career, and it all began with her memorable appearance on The Muppet Show in 1978. This collaboration was met with resounding success, endearing Raquel to Muppet enthusiasts and cementing her status as a cherished guest star. Building on the triumph of her Muppet debut, Raquel was invited to join the television special The Muppets Go Hollywood, which aired on CBS in May of 1979. The special was orchestrated to generate excitement for the forthcoming release of The Muppet Movie. Raquel Welch graciously embraced the opportunity to reunite with her felt and fur-clad friends, bringing her charisma and charm to the Muppet ensemble once again. The Muppets Go Hollywood boasted an impressive lineup of stars who lent their talents to this promotional extravaganza. Alongside Raquel Welch, viewers were treated to appearances by Christopher Reeve, Dick Van Dyke, and Lonnie Anderson. Christopher Reeve, in particular, was enjoying the peak of his fame, courtesy of his iconic portrayal of Superman in the 1978 blockbuster. Raquel Welch with Dudley Moore on the set of Bedazzled. One of the standout moments in Raquel Welch's illustrious career was her appearance alongside the popular British comedic actor Dudley Moore in the 1967 film Bedazzled. This film remains an iconic snapshot of their collaboration on set, capturing the essence of their characters and their dynamic. In Bedazzled, 
Raquel Welch portrayed the character of Lust, a seductive and alluring demonic spirit in the employ of the devil, played by Peter Cook. The devil devises a cunning plan to entice Dudley Moore's character, Stanley Moon, into surrendering his soul in exchange for the love of a waitress portrayed by actress Eleanor Braun. While Moore's character was smitten with the waitress, it was Raquel Welch's captivating performance as Lust that truly stole the audience's infatuation. Her allure and presence on screen were magnetic, leaving an indelible mark on the film's legacy. Interestingly, Bedazzled would receive a modern reimagining in the year 2000. This time, Brendan Fraser stepped into the role originally portrayed by Dudley Moore, while Elizabeth Hurley assumed the role of the devil, merging the characters originally played by Raquel Welch and Peter Cook. The enduring appeal of Bedazzled and its memorable characters, including Raquel's enchanting lust, paved the way for a new generation to be bedazzled by the timeless tale of temptation and desire. Raquel Welch's contribution to Bedazzled stands as a testament to her ability to captivate audiences and leave an indelible mark on cinematic history. Her portrayal of lust continues to be celebrated as a defining moment in her storied career. Raquel Welch, next to James Stewart at the London set, premiered of 1966's The Flight of the Phoenix. Long before her appearance alongside James Stewart in Bandolero, Raquel Welch shared the spotlight with the legendary actor at the premiere of the 1966 film The Flight of the Phoenix. This momentous occasion brought together two iconic figures from the world of cinema, creating a memorable snapshot in Hollywood history. James Stewart, accompanied by his beloved wife Gloria, graced the event with his timeless presence. Stewart, known for his illustrious career and enduring contributions to the film industry, added a touch of classic Hollywood glamour to the premiere. Raquel Welch, on the other hand, arrived at the event with her then-boyfriend, the acclaimed German actor Hardy Krueger, who also starred in The Flight of the Phoenix. Raquel's burgeoning career and undeniable allure had already made her a rising star, and her appearance at the premiere further solidified her status as a Hollywood sensation. The premiere of The Flight of the Phoenix served as a convergence of cinematic talent and charisma, with James Stewart, Raquel Welch, and Hardy Krueger each leaving their own indelible mark on the evening, alongside Dean Martin on the set of Bandolero. In the realm of classic cinema, the 1968 comedic western Bandolero shines as a memorable production. This film starred two Hollywood legends, James Stewart and Dean Martin, portraying a pair of outlaw brothers. Alongside these esteemed actors, the ever-charismatic Raquel Welch took on the pivotal role of the female lead. The captivating photograph captures a moment in time when Raquel Welch shared the screen with the suave Dean Martin, highlighting the on-screen chemistry that contributed to the film's enduring appeal. As they navigated the comedic and action-packed narrative of Bandolero, their performances left an indelible mark on the Western genre. Notably, this period also witnessed James Stewart and Raquel Welch making an appearance together on The Dean Martin Show, further cementing their presence as iconic figures in the entertainment world. The camaraderie between these talented individuals added to the charm of the era, and their collaboration on both the silver screen and television screens delighted audiences. Raquel Welch, attending the 1972 Academy Awards, alongside football player Joe Namath. In the tapestry of Raquel Welch's romantic life, Another noteworthy chapter unfolds with her sporadic relationship with legendary football player Joe Namath during the early 1970s. Their dating history became a point of intrigue and fascination for both fans and the media. One of the most prominent public appearances of this high-profile couple took place at the illustrious 1972 Academy Awards ceremony. As they graced the red carpet together, Raquel Welch and Joe Namath undoubtedly turned heads and sparked conversations with their star-studded partnership. Their relationship, 
marked by its sporadic nature, offered glimpses into the lives of two celebrated figures from different realms of fame. Joe Namath, with his iconic career as a quarterback and charismatic persona, found himself entangled with Raquel Welch, the epitome of Hollywood allure. Their connection became a captivating chapter in the annals of celebrity romances, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of their fans. Raquel Welch with Bill Cosby and Harvey Keitel. Captured in this photograph, we see Raquel Welch alongside her co-stars, Bill Cosby and Harvey Keitel, with whom she shared the screen in the 1976 film Mother Jugs and Speed. While this image offers a glimpse into their collaboration on set, the movie itself has, in many ways, become a forgotten relic of its time. Mother, Jugs, and Speed was a dark comedy that revolved around the high-stakes world of private ambulance services in Los Angeles. Raquel Welch played the role of Jugs, a sassy and resourceful ambulance driver who navigates the chaotic and often absurd challenges of her profession. With Bill Cosby as mother, the brash and unfiltered dispatcher, and Harvey Keitel as Speed, a reckless and unconventional driver, the film promised a blend of humor, action, and drama. However, it's worth noting that the movie has faded somewhat into obscurity, largely overshadowed by the controversy surrounding Bill Cosby in more recent years. Cosby, once a beloved comedian and actor, faced serious legal troubles and allegations that tarnished his public image. In light of these developments, Mother, Jugs, and Speed is seldom discussed or celebrated in the context of Raquel Welch's filmography, despite her commendable performance in the film. Nevertheless, this photograph serves as a reminder of a bygone era in Hollywood, capturing a moment when these talented actors came together to create a unique cinematic experience. Raquel Welch's final years. Raquel Welch's illustrious career continued well into the 21st century, and she remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. One of her last public appearances occurred in 2017 when she graced the Porter Host's Incredible Women Gala in association with Estee Lauder at Newhouse, Los Angeles. At this prestigious event, Raquel Welch had the opportunity to mingle with fellow celebrities, including the talented Brie Larson. During the gala, she delivered a speech that undoubtedly left a lasting impression on the attendees. In addition to her appearances at high-profile events, 2017 also marked Raquel's final foray into acting. She showcased her talents in the comedy film How to Be a Latin Lover and took on a recurring role in the television series Date My Dad, appearing in a total of 10 episodes. These projects served as a testament to her enduring passion for her craft and her ability to captivate audiences even in the later stages of her career. However, it is with great sadness that Raquel Welch is passing on February 15, 2023. The iconic actress, who had graced the silver screen and television for decades, bid farewell at the age of 82, following a brief illness. Her death marked the end of an era in Hollywood, leaving behind a legacy of timeless beauty, exceptional talent, and a trailblazing spirit that inspired generations of fans and fellow actors alike. As we conclude our journey through the intissing snapshots of Rockwell Welch's life and career, we hope you've enjoyed this nostalgic glimpse into the world of a true Hollywood legend. Which of these captivating photos of Raquel Welch was your favorite? And do you have any cherished memories or stories related to this iconic actress? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to show your support. Thank you for joining us on this enticing journey, and stay tuned for more intriguing stories from the world of entertainment. Until next time, bye.